So far, in these slides on regularization, we've looked at the model. Now we're going to look at ways of playing with the data to give us more training to do on a smaller data set to remove some of the issues that we might not have considered in creating that model. And that's called data augmentation. How do we do that? Woof! Woof! Looks like we go and see a dog here. So here we have a picture of a dog. And you can see that there's different distortions. Uh, so this is dog distortion uh, that we have here. You can see on the right. Can you point out to one of them that looks uh, like, for example, where is shift and scale? Uh, I think these are like combination of different transformations. Some of them are like a scale, some of them are shift, some of them are rotate. So, so what about this one? Oh, come on. There we are. So the nose is shifted to the left. Yeah? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's, in the, it's more in the center in the original picture, and it's scaled as well. It doesn't mm -hmm. take up as much of the frame. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's one way to expand the training yeah. set. And, uh, and the reason for that is that if we do not have enough training data, there's a chance that the network just overfit on some specific features. So by artificially expanding our training data, we would uh, let the network see different aspects or see more features or learn more features of the data. For example, if we rotate or shift number three, it is still would be number three. Still number three. And yeah. if we rotate or shift or scale or do elastic deformation on a dark picture, it is still would be a dark picture. Yeah, it wouldn't be an elephant or yeah. a giraffe. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Woo! So, let's look at other ways. Yes. So, <laughs> another way to, um, to let the network learn different features of uh, input image is, is actually input dropout to randomly mask out some parts of image. For example, there's a chance that the network just overfit on the, I don't know, engine of the airplane to decide whether it's, the aer it's an airplane. So by randomly mask different parts, we enforce the network to learn different paths or different ways or different features to uh, classify this image as airplane or for other images. All right, let's see. So random erasing is what we call this. And let's see another set of uh, augmentation, creating artificial data. So actually there are like uh, different innovative ways to artificially expand our training set. For example, here they use uh, different transformation, light, light deformation, uh, decomposition, actually deformation and uh, image overlapping. For example, here, if we change the background of this image, it still would be a tiger. So by doing that, we increase the size of our training set. So I have a question here. We've, done, we've dealt with so far training images. Yes. But what if we're training signals, like biomedical signals? We could do the same thing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Probably the data augmentation should be like specific to that domain, to that data. What can we change about that data that doesn't change a label, but it still would be the same data, so it would be representative uh, representation of the same class, something like this. Okay, so let's look at a summary slide for all these different effects of augmenting our data set. So this is another example. We have geometry-based uh, augmentation. We have color-based augmentation. For example, we can artificially generate different weathers for the same image. So and again, all of sorry, and again, ahead. all of these would be the same animal. So the label is not changed, but we have different representation of the same data. So we, we saw the geometry based in detail for the dog and the erasing occlusion we saw for the aircraft previously. Uh, we didn't really look at the color in detail, but that was in the tiger selection. So here we have a complete uh, expansion of a single picture and there's probably close to 20 
uh, different variations. Mm -hmm. So we actually can significantly increase the number of data and hopefully use that to train our network. Exactly.